Praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and I am so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. Today is the day for every last one of you to continue to seek Jesus in his kingdom each and every day. Today is the day for you to continue to walk with him, to trust him, but most of all, praise and worship his holy name. And I just want to encourage my brothers and sisters today. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now, please have a personal relationship with Jesus. Start your relationship with Jesus right now. That will be the best thing for you. Have a personal relationship with Jesus. Because when you have a personal relationship with Jesus, Jesus will have a personal relationship with you. Right now, he want to use you. Right now, he want to show you things. Right now, he want to open up doors for you. Right now, he's going to give you things. But for order for God to use you, to bless you, to open up doors, you must first have a personal relationship with him first. And once you build that personal relationship with Jesus, always seek him no matter what. Always praise him no matter what. Always glorify him no matter what. And always, always put him first place in your life. Amen? Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Man, man, I tell you what, man, our God is so awesome. He is faithful. He is loving. He is my everything. I love me some Jesus. Nothing else comes before, before him. Nothing else comes before him. He's my everything. He's my refuge. He's my salvation. He's my protector. He's my redeemer. He is my everything. No matter what I go through, no matter what I face in life, I can always call and count on Jesus. I can always call and count on him. I can speak to him any time of the day because we have a, a personal relationship with each other. We have a bond. We have a commitment with each other. And that's what Jesus expects out of every last one of his children. A connection, a bond, a personal relationship. Man, please, my brothers and my sisters, if you don't have one, please get it today. It don't cost you anything. It's free. It don't cost you anything. It is free. Get a personal relationship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. In today's text, is coming from Psalms chapter 5, and we're going to read verse 3. That's Psalms 5, verse 3. In today's message is, do you have a problem or do you have a habit? Some of y'all right now have a major problem that y'all need to turn to a habit. But some of my brothers and sisters, you have a habit. And once you, once you have a habit, that habit become you. See, that problem can be fixed. That problem can be, that problem can be changed. But you got to take the, the first step so that problem can change. So that problem can no longer be a problem that it will be a habit. Amen? Amen. And before we get started, I would like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I just can't thank you enough for an awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. I just can't thank you enough for our relationship that we have. I just can't thank you enough for our bond that we have. I just can't thank you enough for our connection that we have. I just can't thank you enough, oh, Heavenly Father God, because you have all the resources, that you have all the connection and that you want to share with your sons and your daughters today. I just can't think you know how you provide and you making a way for us right now. I just can't think you know how you open up doors right now today. I just can't think you know for your anointing that you have with your children today who seek you, who honor you and always put you first place. I just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy today, oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't thank you enough for your salvation, for your refuge. I just can't thank you enough that can always call and count and depend on you. I just I can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I'm always going to praise you. That's why I'm always going to glorify you. That's why I'm always going to seek in your kingdom because I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I said, I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' holy name. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're about to get into this word. I would love for y'all to turn your Bibles to Psalms chapter 5, and we're going to read verse 3. That's Psalms 5, and we're going to read verse 3. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out amen. Amen, let's begin. In the morning, O Lord, you hear in the morning. You hear my voice in the morning. 
I lay my request before you and wait in expectation. In the morning, oh Lord, you hear my voice. You're going to hear my voice in the morning. You're going to hear my voice in the afternoon. You're going to hear my voice in the midnight hour. You're going to hear my voice in the, in the and late at night, you're going to hear my voice when I'm at work. You're going to hear my voice when I'm in the shower. You're going to hear my voice when I'm at the gym. You're going to hear my voice. No matter what, you're going to hear my voice. Because my prayer became a habit. Once I started praying, it became a habit. My prayers became a habit to me. But before I even had a habit, Minister LT had a problem. Before I even started praying, before I even started reading the Bible, before I even started preaching, Minister LT had a problem. Like some of y'all right now, some of y'all right now have a problem right now. You have a major problem right now. And that problem that you have can be fixed if you want it to be fixed. But you got to start with yourself first. You got to look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I have a problem. And I guarantee that Jesus already don't spoke to most of y'all right now. So you know what? My son, you have a problem. My daughter, you have a problem right now. And most of y'all have ignored exactly what Jesus has told you. Most of y'all have ignored the problem that Jesus has already told you what the problem is. Man, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I'm talking to somebody right now. I can remember just like yesterday when Jesus spoke to me. He said, son, you have a problem. And my problem, what I had at that time, I had a problem selling drugs to my family members and my friends. I even had a problem selling drugs to my, my friends' parents. And the problem it wasn't by me, the drug was the problem. I had a problem selling the poison so the money can go in my pocket. I was doing everything the devil wanted me to do. Because I had a problem. I was addicted to the cash. I didn't care about no bad at that time. I didn't care if it was their last $10. It was their last $20. I didn't care at that time. Their kids didn't have nothing to eat. I didn't care at that time. They had a bill to be paid. Only thing I was worried about was the green dollar bill. And I had a major problem because I was selfish. I was selfish. That was kind of problem I had. Selling poison to my own people. I was selfish. I had a problem by smoking marijuana because I had to smoke the marijuana because when I was on those street corners, I was paranoid. I had a problem. I had a drug problem. The drug problem was marijuana. Marijuana became my best friend. Marijuana became my love. Then the marijuana stepped up to drinking alcohol. I had to drink alcohol to cool down the nerves because my nerve was racing 100 miles per hour. Because of the paranoia that I was against. I had a problem. I had a marijuana problem. I had, a, I had an alcohol problem. Then I had a selling drug problem. See, I had problem after problem after problem. See, the problem kept escalating. It didn't stop right there. Then I had a problem because I wanted to go out to the clubs and hang around with people who didn't want that in life. So then I had another problem I was up against. Then the problem still didn't stop there. I had a problem because I had a I had an attitude problem because of the poison I was in, because of, of the street corner life, because of the people I was hanging around with, because of the things that I was doing. Then I had another problem. See, all them problems started adding up. And they added up for quite some time. Selfish. Greed. Had to smoke marijuana. Had to drink. I wanted to go to club. Not because I wanted to party. Because it was something that I wanted to do because I saw my, I saw other people doing it. Because I wanted to meet other people there. See, I had a problem. To God spoke to me, he said, LT, you have a problem. <clears throat> I said, God, I don't have a problem. He said, yes, you do, son. You have a major problem on your hand. Look what you're doing. You are selling poison to your own family members. You are selling poison to your own so-called friends. You are selling po poison to your friends, to your friends' parents. And you didn't, even, you don't even care how you selling the poison. The only thing that you worried about is how much money that you are making off selling that poison. See, at that time I couldn't see that. I was blind to the fact what I was doing. I was so blind. Only thing I saw was the money. 
I didn't see how I was hurting people. I didn't see how I was damaging people. I didn't care. I was selfish. I was greedy. That was exactly what I was. I had a problem. Like some of y'all right now, y'all have a problem. Some of y'all got had that same problem, or some of y'all problem might be worse than the problem that I was going through, or what I had. So that was a difference. So when God spoke to me, he said, okay, son, what you going to do? Are you going to fix that problem, or are you going to let that problem continue to grow? Because if you let that problem continue to grow, you ain't going to be here too much longer. Man, when he spoke to me, he woke me up. He opened my eyes up a little bit. Then he spoke to me again. He showed me a picture. He said, this the, is this the way if you continue with that problem where you're going to be at. But he said, if you fix that problem and follow me, this is what your life will look like. So I saw what the problem life looked like. It ended real short, real real sad. It was real dark. And I said, no, ain't no life coming back, going down that aisle right there. I don't bend down. I don't saw my friends get shot up. I don't saw my friends get killed. I don't saw, saw some of my friends go to jail and go to prison. I said, I don't want that life. I don't want that problem anymore. So I stopped everything. So he's like, okay then. Now you got a choice to make a habit. He said, now I need you to build a relationship with me so I can build a relationship with you. So then, my, my that problem that I had, that problem didn't exist no more. Then I started wanting to make a habit. That habit started me building a relationship with Jesus first. Once I built that relationship with Jesus, that habit became me, and I became part of the habit. Then I started praying more. The praying became a habit, and the habit became me. Then I started reading my Bible. That Bible became a habit because the Bible and the Word was speaking to me became a habit to me. Then he started using me. Then he laid his hand on me. Then he anointed me. And ever since then, I have a habit. And that habit that I have, that I'm in love with Jesus. That habit that I have, I love praying. That habit that I have, I love reading my Bible. That habit that I have now, I love preaching the word of God. Because now, I have a habit. And I let my request be known each and every day. Because now, I have a habit. And that's what Jesus expects out of every last one of you. He wants you to have a habit. And the habit that Jesus expects out of you, my sisters, my brothers, first, build a relationship with you. That's the first habit he wants you to have. The second habit is that you need to pray so he can hear your voice every single day, every single moment, every single morning, every single moment, Jesus wants to hear your voice. He wants to hear your voice. That's another habit. The second habit is open up your Bible. Start reading your Bible on a daily basis. The third habit is seek him and trust him. No matter what. If you can follow those three habits right there, Jesus will become a habit to you. I'm going to say that again. The first habit, build your relationship with him. The second habit, start praying because he wants to hear your voice every moment and every morning. Third, start reading your Bible. Once you start doing that, and that three things become a habit to you, then Jesus will be a habit to you. That's why I have a habit now. Because I seek him. I have a relationship with him. I pray. And I open my Bible each and every day. So that became a habit. Once Jesus noticed it, it became a habit. That when Jesus became a habit to minister LT. No longer do LT think about the things I used to do. Now I try to help people who's doing the same thing. I'm like, man, don't you know you have a problem? See, some people can't, can't see that yet. See, at that time when I had that problem, I couldn't see that because of my greediness, because of my selfishness. I couldn't see that I had the problem. Till Jesus spoke to me, he said, son, you have a major problem on your hand. Mm -mm -mm. So at that present moment, Jesus saved me from my problem. I was facing a major, major problem. Some of y'all right now is facing a major, major problem right now. And you know that you face the problem right now. But some of y'all is so caught up in yourself, you don't even realize the problem that you're facing right now. Turn that problem into a habit. That's what Jesus expects out of you. He want to have a habit, not a problem. So that problem can be fixed. See how he fixed my problem? And turn my problem into a major habit. And my habit 
became so, so in love with me and I became so in love with my habit because Jesus saw that I wanted every day she with me. Jesus saw that I, I wanted to pray all the time. He saw that I wanted to read my Bible. He saw I wanted a personal relationship with him. So when he saw that, he became a habit to me and I became a habit to him. Now we join together. We sign these twins. I ain't letting him go and he ain't let me go because he know we have a habit with each other. We got a connection. We have a bond. And that's what Jesus is wanting you to do right now. Have a habit. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but this message right now today is clear for someone today. Do you have a problem or do you have a habit? When you have a habit, Jesus is going to know because Jesus is going to be a habit to you. Make Jesus a habit in your life. Make praying a habit in your life. Make reading your Bible a habit in your life. Get rid of the problems, my sisters. Get rid of the problems, my brothers, and come to a habit. Amen? Amen. And I hope that this word, this message was helpful towards somebody today. And if it was, give him thanks, give him praise, and give him glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, use us, so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, but I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed. And always keep Jesus first place. Amen.